250 years of slavery, 100 years of Jim Crow, sharecropping, the Ku Klux Klan, lynchings, bombings, mass incarceration, the separation and destruction of the black family. All of that has had an effect on our mind. Our mind needs to be decolonized. We today are experiencing mental slavery, not physical slavery as once our ancestors had to endure. In my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we take you through every step to start releasing the chains that's on your mind. He or she who controls the mind, control the person. It is in a vested interest of the white supremacist system to keep your mind bogged down in a mental slavery, throwing entertainment, throwing drugs, throwing alcohol, anything they can at you to keep you bogged down. You got to free yourself from mental slavery. By purchasing our book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind today on Amazon. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your friends. Everyone can benefit from decolonizing the mind because once your mind is decolonized, you will never be put to sleep again. Now you have a young sister that has a adoptive sister. Now this adoptive sister um, is a white little girl. So they went on a flight uh, and I want you to see what actually happened to them in this flight. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. I feel bad. I don't know. Knowing that you might have to go through that a lot. Lakeisha Nay Bailey and her four-year-old adopted sister, Olivia Fry, continue to console each other after their relationship was questioned Tuesday morning at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. There was two police officers and they came up to me and they are like, we need to talk, it's okay if we talk to you. He asked Libby if I know, she knows me and what am I to her? And then he asked what my mom was to her. And the questions continued. According to Bailey, officers spoke with Fry's legal mother and a social worker to confirm information. The officers would follow them to baggage claim before speaking with the person who picked them up. The whole time we were talking to us, people kept staring at us, and like whispering and stuff like that. Bailey says the experience was humiliating. Yeah, okay, well, okay. Stay by your side. Um, stay by your side, too. So how did these two sisters get caught up with police? According to a statement by Frontier Airlines, a concern was raised during the flight by another passenger who was sitting near the woman and child and suspected human trafficking. That passenger approached the flight crew with those concerns and subsequently completed a written report during the flight to document her observations. The captain was notified and felt an obligation to report the matter. Denver 7 asked Frontier for that report. So far, no response. A DFW Department of Public Safety incident report confirms officers investigated the matter. For Bailey, the underlying factor is obvious. It, it was the roles were changed, and it was a white person walking off the plane with a black person, like a black child. I feel like things would be different. Now Bailey and her family are considering legal action against the airlines. I'm this isn't the first story that we have reported on with this kind of result. It's been many stories where you've had. Um, black women have white, you know, adoptive children or even maybe taking care of some white children and they've been approached by other white people accusing them of stealing them. Oh, what are you doing with them? Because in their mind that black people don't supposed to be around no white children at all. They view that as, oh, you had to be a uh, uh, kidnapping or uh, listen to what they say. They, they said human trafficking for a four year old. You understand? I mean, now how many times have we have seen on planes or different areas, white people have black children and you don't see black people running up on them and say, Hey, Hey, what, what are you doing with that kid? I mean, uh, shoot. I mean, you, you trafficking, well, what, what's going on? Well, let me call the police because I don't know what you got going on. Nobody do that, but they get on high alert. If they see a black, you know, person with a white child. Now I know some of you, the way you're going to respond is that why in the world she adopted or her mama adopting a white child anyway. Why can't she adopt a black child? Black children need to get out of the system. I mean, I, I do agree. Black children do need to get out of the system, but I don't know the circumstances, you know, behind that. You know, they had people that had friends, for instance. Maybe, you know, I'm not saying that's the case. I'm just giving you an example of what you have seen. 
they've been friends, one of the friends get on drugs and they have a kid and they're like, you know, the, the, the child always knew the, the black person, like an auntie or something like that. And they say, well, I don't want them to go into the system or whatever. I'm gonna see if I can adopt them. It's all kind of scenarios that happen like that. I mean, one time years ago, when I was in a family court, you know, and I seen a black family adopt a white child, kind of like maybe around the age of that one. The little girl loved them to death, you know, and, and the judge had no problem giving them the, the child to the family. It was a white male judge at that. So, I mean, those things happen sometimes. I mean, there was another story where you had a black man that had two, you know, white adoptive children, and he took some backlash. I know you remember that story. So it, it happened. The only thing I will say to black people that, that adopt white children, I'm not telling you what to do. That's not my job. The only thing that I will tell you is it's going to come with some long suffering because you're living in America. You de you're dealing with a whole lot of racism and white supremacy. It was a passenger that went and told the flight crew. The flight crew told the captain. The captain felt obligated. He felt obligated to report it instead of going and ask them, hey, you know, I just want to ask the question, what's going, like, once they explained it to you, you're like, oh, okay, no, no issue, no problem, right? But it, it, it's, it's sad that this happened. I know they're upset, but, you know, I, I noticed they were flying uh, Frontier. You know, anybody that know me know I talk about Frontier in, in spirit being the Section 8 airlines. I don't think you should be flying them. That's just my opinion. Um, there's so many incidents and craziness going on Frontier and Spirit. But if you want to fly them, that's on you. Don't get mad at me. It's just my opinion that they are the Section 8 airlines of um, the country. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story. Um, hate this happened to, to the young sister. You know, this is completely racism, and she's 100% right that if it was the roles reverse and it was a young, you know, white girl had a four-year-old black child, nothing would have been said, and that is the truth. Are you tired of the violence, tired of the injustice, police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America? Or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, AKA the motherland, is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. The opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifiedgame.com.